In this video, I will be using Guru policy to deploy Microsoft Teams. I will be using two different deployment options. One of them will be where we create a group policy for our domain computers, and then the computers install the software during startup. Another one is where we create a policy for our domain users, and then the users themselves can install the software whenever they like. I'm starting this video from my GitHub page, and here you can find more of my videos that are related to this topic. For example, here you can find my Windows Server setup, and here you can find my other group policies and settings that I'm using when I'm deploying software using group policy. And I will leave the URL in the description down below. And now I will begin this video by downloading Microsoft Teams MSI package. And for that, I will use the link that I have here. That brings me to the Microsoft documentation page, bulk install Teams using Windows installer. And I'm here because here we can get the MSI package. And here we have the links to download. I will be using the commercial version, the 64-bit one. So I will select it. The download should start. And then I will go to my downloads folder. And here we have our MSI file. And there is one thing that you should know about this MSI file, that it is not installing Teams itself, but it prepares the computer for Teams installation. And I will explain it in more detail a bit later in the video. And now I will right click on the MSI file, select copy, and then I will go to my VMware workstation where I have my Windows Server setup. I will minimize the server manager. For now, I will move the MSI file to my desktop. And now we need to move it to a network share that is accessible to our users and their computers. So I will open the file explorer. And here I will enter the network path for my file server and for me it's my SRV02 server. Here I have this share named software and in this share I will be creating an, another folder and I will name it MS Teams. I will go inside of it and then I will move MSI file into this folder. And here you need to make sure that you have the correct share and NTFS permissions. For example, if I go to property, security settings, and edit, you can see that I have authenticated users with read permissions for the NTFS permissions and also have the same for my share permissions. And authenticated users means that both users and computers have access to this share, so they are able to execute the files from it. So make sure that you have the correct permissions. I will close this for now. And then I will go to my server manager because now we can start creating our group policy. Then I will go to Tools, Group Policy Management. I will select and expand Group Policy Objects. And for the first policy, I will be creating a policy for our domain computers. This means that the software will be installed during computer startup. So for that, I will right click on Group Policy Objects and select New. I will name this policy Assign Microsoft Teams and click OK. Then I will select the policy, I will right click it and select edit. And because this is a policy for our computers, we need to go to the computer configuration, policy, software settings, software installation. Then I will right click here, go to new and select package. Here you need to make sure that you're not selecting a local file on the server, but you're selecting a file that is located in network share. For example, this one is located on the server's desktop. It will allow us to select it, but the software installation on the computers will fail because they will not have access to the server's desktop. So to go to the share, I will click here and enter the network path. So once again, it's my SRV02 server, the software share and MS Teams folder. Then I will select the MSI package. Here I will select advanced and OK. Then I will go to deployment, advanced, and here I will select ignore language when deploying this package because I want to deploy this package to all of my machines, no matter what system language they have. Then I will click OK and OK. And I will close this window because we are done creating our policy. Here I will go to details, make sure that the correct policy is selected. And for GPO status, I will select user configuration settings disabled because this policy right now only has computer computer settings in it and now we need to link this policy to an organization unit that holds the computers on which we want to install the software 
So for me, it will be this domain computers one organization unit. And for that, I will click and hold on the policy and then drag and drop it on the organization unit. And the policy will appear here. And also we can see it in this list right here. And now to test this group policy, I will go to one of my client machines that is located in this organization unit. And for me, it's my client 01. And here we need to refresh our group policy. So for that, I will go to start menu. I will type CMD and I will open it without administrative privileges. And here I will type GP update. And as you can see, after updating group policy, it is informing us that it detected a software installation package and that this computer needs a reboot for the software installation to happen. So to reboot this computer, I will type shut down minus R minus T zero and press enter. Now let's wait and see what happens. As you can see here, the computer is informing us that it, it is currently installing Microsoft Teams and the installation seems to be over. So I'll sign into the computer. And because like I said, the MSI file does not install the software, but it prepares the computer for software installation because the software installation happens after user logon. So after the logon, we still don't have a pop-up for Microsoft Teams here. We need to wait a bit. And it seems that it has successfully installed and started for us. So everything seems to be fine. And that's it for creating a policy that deploys the software to our computers. Now let's create another one that we can assign to our users and then the users themselves can install it. And for that, I will go back to my domain controller. I will right click on group policy object, select new. And this time I will name it publish MS Teams. And I will click OK. Then I will right click on the policy that I created, select edit. And because this policy is for the users, we need to go to user configuration, policy, software settings, software installation. And I will right click here, go to new and select package. And once again, you need to make sure that the package that you're selecting here is located in network share. I will click here and I can see the network path here. So that means this file is currently in the network share. So I'll double click on it, select advance and click OK. Then I will go to the deployment and I will select basic installation for installation user interface options because I don't want to give any options to select during the installation for our users. And then I will click OK. I will close this window because we are done creating our group policy. Then I will select it here, go to details. And for GPO status, I will select computer configuration settings disabled because this group policy right now only has user settings in it. And that's it for this policy. I will leave all other settings on default. Now we need to link it to an organization unit, but this time we need to link it to an organization unit that is holding our users. And for me, it will be this organization unit right here that's called domain users. So I will select the policy and drag and drop it to that organization unit. I will select it here. And as you can see, it appeared here and also we can see it here. Now to test this policy, I will go to one of my other client machines that I have here. And here I have this shortcut right here to install programs from a network. So I'll open it. Currently the list is empty and to Populate this list, we need to refresh our group policy. So for that, I will go to start menu. Here I'll type CMD and I will open it without administrative privileges because this user doesn't have administrator privileges. And uh, here I will type GP update. And as you can see, group policy was successfully updated. So now I will go back to this list and will right click and select refresh. And as you can see, now we have this package right here. I will double click on it. The installation was successful, but it is successful. But if I go to control panel and select uninstall a program, you can see that we have this Teams machine wide installer installed, but we don't have Teams itself installed. And that's because, like I said, this MSI package doesn't install Teams, but it prepares 
the computer for the software installation during the user logon and it will happen once for each user on the computer that will be logging into this computer so to start the software installation itself the user needs to relog so i will close all the windows that i have here and sign out from the user john then i will sign back in and now we need to wait a bit and as you can see the installation was successful for this user and that's it for this video in the future videos i will show you how to deploy microsoft teams using other software deployment tools so like and subscribe if you want to see that and see you in the next one